All right, so I said I would give a video of the cacao pod, cutting it open, tasting it, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and film that now. I just wanted to show you the size of the cacao pod. I got a bottle of water here. Here's the bottle of water compared to the cacao pod. So just to put it in perspective for you. That's a really big pod. <laughs> All right, let me get to cutting this. All right, so popping it open. Wow, those are some really big seeds. Yeah, those are a lot bigger than what I'm used to seeing. Um, I cut it sideways because I saved the shell. I prefer it to be sideways instead of horizontal. I just like them better. They preserve better for me. Uh, when you cut them sideways, if you're trying to save the shell, uh, sometimes it will flip up on the back so it won't be like a complete hold. It'll... Anyway, uh, let me pull this out. These are like huge seeds. All right, let me taste it. Yeah, that's definitely good. Um, the taste is like the mix between a loquat and a banana to me with a little bit of a this one has like a little bit of a fruity flavor more fruity like um maybe a little bit of mango flavor or something around that so there's the inside of the cacao pod The umbilical cord, what I call it, all the little strings hanging off. Now the seeds are uh, significantly larger than the smaller pods, but it looks like there's a lot less seeds than what the smaller one holds. I haven't counted them out, but I can usually tell. All right, so I wanted to show everybody once you get the seed out, uh, in order for to grow them without having any problems of rot or anything like that, um, I suggest that you pill it. So you just take your nail, firmly but gentle, and you scrape it till you get to brown. And once you get to brown, just slowly pull that up. It's a little thick, coarse. Um, coating on the outside. All right, so you just pull that off and you see the bean in there. I try to be careful because sometimes you'll break them. Uh, not saying that they won't grow if you do break them. My daughter actually did bite one of the seeds and it was the best plant that I had. But you get the skin off completely. And then there's your root. And there's your seed. If you plant this in a wet paper towel inside of a Ziploc baggie, this root will get about this long in about two days, three days max. So what I do at this point is I take this and I put it in a cup with water. Now this is just room temperature water from the faucet. And um, I do have chlorinated water. I live in the city. So... I just go ahead and, you know, start another seed and then do that until they're all done. All right, it's going to take me a while to peel these, so I'm just going to sign off on that note. Uh, hope you found this video informative, like I say at the end of every video I have. Uh, there was 45 seeds in this pod. I did count them. I found one that wasn't viable. It's real thin and flat, and I'm sure if I put it in the water, it would float. It's real soft no good but uh, yeah so 
if you're interested in some seeds, just leave me a comment. If I have any, I, I'll send you a message. Um, otherwise, I sell my seeds on eBay. Uh, and I'm glad you're interested because it's something that I'm interested in. It's something that I love. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice night.